Hey guys, Steve Dukowski here with another episode of Range Time. We're out here in Richmond, Virginia today at the state capitol. They're here to protest a number of gun bills uh, which have been introduced uh, in the session in Virginia. We are in line right now to get into the actual capitol grounds. There's a uh, screening area up here, so there's a very long line that stretches for several blocks to get in to the actual rally at this point. Okay, thank you. Hey, so squad two just got back, squad three All right, well, we made it to the top, the, the Capitol stairs here in, in Richmond, and uh, behind me here is a huge crowd of uh, pro-gun ralliers. Uh, there's tens of thousands of people easily just behind me and there's also uh, uh, that whole road to my left is just packed with people so turnout today has been uh, unlike anything else I think Richmond has seen in years. What's your name? My name is Mark from Northern Virginia. Okay where, where in Northern Virginia are you? Just... Northern Virginia. Okay right. all right uh, how far did you have to travel today? Um, what two and a half two hours. Two and so why did you think it was important to drive those two and a half hours? Uh, one, I, I love this country. It's about the Second Amendment. It's about our ability to defend ourselves and our loved ones. It's not only a uh, constitutional, constitutional right issue, but it's also a civil right issue. Um, the governor, who's known for blackface and or possibly having a Klan's uh, hood on, uh, has the audacity on MLK Day to declare uh, executive order that would prevent people from lawfully protesting. This has been a long-standing rally where people have come and they have protested. And then, on top of that, to add insult to injury, um, uh, he wanted to uh, push forth the narrative that uh, white supremacists are stirring up issues. I feel comfortable here. Haven't had any issues here. I don't know what the problem is. So it, it, it for me, as an African American on MLK Day, it's critically important that we preserve the ability to, to defend ourselves and our loved ones. And I will not allow anybody to push a narrative saying that there are racist people at this, these rallies. It's not true. Okay. Uh, now your sign says we will not comply. Absolutely. Just as the sheriff and uh, some of the counties have said, we're not going to uh, enforce uh, laws that are unconstitutional. Um, we will not comply. We will do whatever uh, means necessary. Legislatively, vote people out of office, uh, make sure it goes through the court process, but we're not going to just lay down and allow people to strip us of our, abil our ability to defend ourselves and our loved ones. So that's what we will not comply means for me. I love America. I love the Constitution. I love the freedoms that Americans have had since the founding of our country, and I believe that we're going to have to fight to keep those freedoms. I think that there are a lot of people who are being elected into office who have not read the Constitution and think that because they've been elected in the op into office, they can dictate um, to everybody else what our rights are, and so I don't like that. We will get the attention of Governor Northam and the other legislators who are trying to put through gun bills that are going to limit our rights as Virginians. And I think that this rally here today has the attention, obviously, of the whole country because we in Virginia are the canary in the coal mine. Are there any specific policies like that you are particularly uh, against? Oh, well, to be honest, the, uh, the, the red flag law where we're concerned about um, only because there's no, there's no code legislation, for example, that would prevent abuse of that law. Right. Um, that, that, that's a big one. Um, I mean, we're all normally pretty much for background checks and stuff. Um, so not necessarily that one in particular, but it's for me personally, it's mainly the red flag. The red flag bar. People should be able to have guns. It's the second, it's the Second Amendment, and if the government's the only one with guns, that's going to be a lot worse than what's going on now uh, with citizens being able to carry. It's not just uh, that nobody's gonna care if they take all of our gun rights away. I'm trying to show that they're wrong about that. People do want them to care about it. What uh, is your ultimate goal for today? Well, to send a signal to the General Assembly to walk away from all this gun control. Leave people like me and you alone. We're not criminals. We don't cause any of the problems. Why are you trying to infringe on my rights makes no sense.
Give us a little bit of an overview about the specific bills that VCDL is is most worried about, most opposed to, uh, and that could most realistically pass. Which, which ones are your, have your highest concern? Red flag is number one. The uh, these emergency orders that they've got that uh, extreme risk emergency extreme risk orders. I think it is. Um, those attack half of the Bill of Rights easily, if not more, and. Uh, and they don't, they're sold on, oh, we've got to help people with, with, with suicidal tendencies. We've got to get the guns away from them. But it's all about getting the guns and not doing anything for the suicidal person. They leave them alone. They can still kill themselves any way they want. Uh, so it's, it, it's clearly a farce. You're, you're not uh, comfortable with the safeguards that are in place in the current no. legislation for red flag laws? What's the point if you don't get help for the dangerous person? The whole thing doesn't make sense if you can't help the person that's dangerous. Then to me, it tells me they don't really think they're dangerous. They're not worried about that. Mm. They're worried about getting the gun. So no, none of the, none of the stuff they put in there is acceptable. They okay. just need to get rid of it. We've already got temporary detention orders. We've had them for years. Those will take the person for 72 hours for evaluation. Another one is anything that deals with, with um, banning of guns, like the AR-15s. They had the original bill said they would just become illegal, and you'd have to give them up on July 1. Right, which is something that animated a lot of people across it, the you state. Bet. A lot of these people, I think, out here today are concerned about that bill. Now, that, that one's been withdrawn. That's been withdrawn, but we knew that they would, and we said what they're going to do is they're going to offer to grandfather. This is approaching the greedy side of people. Well, you get to keep your guns, but the next generation, they don't get guns. And we're saying, no, no, we can't give away their rights. All right, we're here uh, just outside of the crowds at the Capitol building. It's only gotten more crowded since we started this morning at 8 o'clock, it's about 11 a.m. Speeches are about to start on the Capitol grounds. People are still here uh, rallying. We haven't seen no incidents of violence or any conflict really at all, so that's great. Uh, and no racist displays, anything like that. So a lot of this uh, sort of media hype leading into the event turned out to be just that hype. Uh, everyone here today has been very peaceful and very focused just exclusively on gun rights. So what, what's your name? Will Duffield. And where are you from? I'm from Ireland. Okay, and so you, you made the trip down about two hours today yeah. to, uh, for Lobby Day. What specifically brought you down here? Well, I wanted to talk to my reps about HB 961. It's a proposed assault weapon ban, and it doesn't include any kind of grandfathering provision, whatever, for magazines or suppressors. And so this is a 30 round magazine for an AK-47, right? Um, 74. AK-74, right? Uh, and so this, under that proposal, this would be illegal to possess in Virginia. Possess, period. Either give it to the police, throw it away, or just be an outlaw with it. And that's not a decision I want to have to make for myself. I don't think it's a decision that should be imposed on other Virginians. So uh, can you tell me your name? My name is Edward. Okay, uh, where are you from? Uh, we're uh, from Indiana. Indiana, okay. And so obviously, uh, so you're, you're open carrying uh, an AR-15 on you uh, at the moment. Uh, obviously there's been a lot of uh, consternation about uh, folks like you from out of state uh, who are armed coming to this rally. Uh -huh. what, what would you have to say to people who are concerned about your presence here? Well, we're here peacefully. We're not here to cause any issues. We're just here to show that we are peaceful people. We're not crazy and that the problem is not guns, but crazy people. The, the fences aren't up because people have guns, they're up because some crazy person might try something. Okay. And, and you know, most people here are pretty normal. You know, we just, we just want to live our lives and be free as Americans, as our founders intended. We have guns that we use to protect ourselves and our family. We don't want anyone telling us what weapon we can use to protect ourselves and which ones we can. And that your wife's holding a sign that says... Uh, AR-15s for 
<laughs> She's obviously not a white supremacist, so. <laughs> You'd have to be over 100 grams. Well, you came out today, you brought, uh, what, what kind of dog is this? It's a red Tibetan Mastiff. It's okay, very popular today. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's fluffy, got a lot of pictures. Big fluffy pup. Um, and so why why did you come out with uh, what's his name Samson? Why why are you and Samson here? Well, he's my service dog, and uh, okay. just here to support our rights and Second Amendment right. So can you give us a little more background about yourself? Um, prior military, uh, lived in Europe, all over uh, Desert Storm. Just want to make sure we keep keep our government honest. So we uh, are done for the day. Was we're back inside in the warm? Thank God, because it was freezing cold, but the big takeaways I think from this rally are how big it was for one. I mean, this is one of the biggest rallies I've ever been to, uh, and I've covered the March for Our Lives in DC, um, Glenn Beck's rally, uh, big rally that he had, the John Stewart rally. This is among the biggest that I've ever been to, certainly tens of thousands of people showed up today, um, all of them in uh, support of gun rights. There weren't any counter protests as far as we could see. There was really no conflict whatsoever, despite a lot of the dire warnings we had uh, coming into the event. Um, and then I, there weren't any white supremacists or anything like that from what we could see on the ground here today. All we had were people from Virginia um, here to support uh, their right to bear arms. So uh, that's what happened. That's what we saw. Uh, and now we're going to make the long drive back up to Northern Virginia uh, for the day. So thanks again for watching. This is uh, Stephen Gutowski with another episode of Range Time.